and weather on demand of Sean Householder with UpperMichiganSource.com. Now we glance back at the almanac from yesterday. Now the high was cool, two degrees below average, but that low made up for it. Turns out we're about four degrees above the long term average. One of only a handful of days in the month of December so far that have been above average temperature wise. We take a look at what's happening around the country. Well, rain working across this cold front, as you can see, sweeping across the uh, Atlantic seaboard. Some mixed precipitation over towards parts of New England. Canadian high pressure building in uh, just to our north and west. And of course, the next front, you can see the leading edge of that system working through Montana, parts of Wyoming. It's a cold uh, ridge of high pressure that is settling in across the Dakotas and into Minnesota. Closer to home, we keep mostly cloudy skies and temperatures are pretty bearable compared to what we could be dealing with. But lake effect snow really piling up overnight. And uh, places like Nagani reporting nine inches of snow in the past 24 hours. Lots of snow reports coming in. We take a look around the UP and we can see lake effect snow across Marquette, Alger, even into uh, northern Delta, Menominee, Dickinson County, and of course up into the Keweenaw as well. Our radar typically struggles to see that. Lake effect snow advisories continue for Ontonagon and Gogeba County until midnight Eastern. Meanwhile, Barriga and Marquette counties will be under a lake effect snow advisory until 7 a.m. Tuesday. Single digit temperature readings this morning as this is being recorded at the 8 o'clock hour. And it's a cool start for us over in Ironwood. It's 9 there, 10 in Iron River, right through the teens. Munising, one of the warmer spots, 18 there. Saw your airport checking in at 16. That's relatively mild compared to what uh, our neighbors to our north and west are dealing with. Minneapolis checking in zero, but take a look. Here's the core of uh, the coldest air, Regina, 29 below zero. Winnipeg cool at 29 below zero. And of course, that's just the temperature reading. Any winds make it feel much cooler. And that is thanks to that uh, ridge of Canadian high pressure. And that'll continue to try to work its way in, but it'll kind of be shunted as you can see. Right now, here's this frontal boundary. We keep generally north to northeasterly winds, so places that don't usually see a whole lot of lake effect snow starting to see that. Places like Lance, portions of Barriga, Marquette counties getting in on some snow. By tonight, that ridge of high pressure starts to work its way into the central plains. Portion of it, that northern fringe, will start to uh, work its way across. Well, we'll call it north of Lake Superior. We have north to northwesterly winds, so those typical northwest wind belts getting in on some lake effect snow. But any morning snow showers on your Tuesday morning will wind down pretty quickly. High pressure builds in just from our south and southeast. That provides a pretty nice day for us. Plenty of sunshine, but winds turn breezy out of the south into the afternoon. Could see a 30 mile an hour gust with that. That's all ahead of this next front. And of course, system snow on tap for your Christmas Eve into your Christmas morning. We'll get in on some pretty good measurable snow out of that one too. Forecast today, lots of cloud cover, little to no chance of sunshine. Temperatures into the teens. It's coolest east, single digits to around 10. Some of the warmer spots may touch 20. North to northeasterly flow means lake effect snow, especially along Superior Shoreline and into the Keweenaw. So we see partially clearing skies overnight, especially inland away from the lakes. Western interior, some of the cooler places working close to around 10 below for uh, some of those colder places in the UP. Meanwhile, everybody else single digits to around 10 lake effect snow with that north to northwesterly flow and those lake effect snow showers really wind down in uh, into the west on your Tuesday morning temperatures. Well, it doesn't feel all that warm with uh, gusty winds with sustained winds to around 20 miles an hour. Snowfall forecast not counting what fell on your Monday morning. Generally one to four inches of snow. There could be higher snowfall totals in places like Barriga, Marquette, Western Alger County. Counting this this morning snow could be up to a foot or more of new snow into your Tuesday morning. TV six day forecast and snow on your Christmas day. And snow chances continue. Temperatures into the teens and low and mid 20s even. That colder air stays out of the area until Saturday night, Sunday. Much colder by then. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.